This normally takes weeks of supercomputing and not very many people have access to a supercomputer. You either have to be at an academic institution or 
a corporation or a, next to a government supercomputer. And these things also require a lot of electricity and water and have a fairly large carbon footprint. So we were very excited that we're able to do this design process much more efficiently, much faster, so fast that it can run on a laptop or a mobile phone. So right now we just gave the AI passive tissue and muscle. So there's not a lot that the AI can do, but as we give it more components like bones and nervous systems and sense organs or the analog of this in uh, mechanical terms, uh, electrical wires and pistons, as we give the AI more things to play with, we hope that it can result in more complex and more useful robots, but that remains to be seen.